everyone. My name is Chuck Moore, pastor at the First Baptist Church of Champaign Savoy. Uh, perhaps in recent weeks, you've had an opportunity to see a conversation on the internet between two men. The first man says to the second man, hey, I've got a question for you, and you have to select between A and B. Here's your question. Imagine that you can be sequestered with anyone over the next four weeks. Who would you choose to be sequestered with? Would it be A, the members of your family, or, and before the man can even finish the question, the other man says to him, B, regardless of who the option might be, the answer has got to be B. Well, we smile, but my guess is that many of us can probably relate. The past couple of weeks, let's face it, have been long. And regardless of how much we may love someone and cherish that relationship, there's always the possibility that because our personalities are so different and our bents are never the same, there's always the possibility that somebody might just begin to irritate us. So the question is, what is the call of the gospel? Consider these words from the Apostle James in James 1. Take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Quick to listen. That means let's make listening our default mode. It's the first thing that we automatically should be doing. Be slow to speak. Take your time. Sit back. Count to ten. And the same thing also applies to getting angry. There is not necessarily anything wrong with getting angry when it's appropriate. The Bible, after all, says be angry without sinning. But it does mean that we need to stand back and ask ourselves, do I have a legitimate reason for feeling this way? Is my child, for example, are they really being rebellious or is it possible that they are merely being children? Of course, you might hear those words of James and say, Chuck, that's great advice coming from Dr. Phil, but what does it have to do with my faith? Well, remember that the Apostle James is not writing to simply give good homespun down-home advice but he is speaking about issues of faith. The same faith that has been initiated and is empowered by the presence of God's Spirit in our lives. So what James is really inferring here is this, let God's Spirit work in you so that during these very long, hard days in your relationships with each other, you can be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to get angry. Here's my question for you, and I'm inviting you to hit reply and to send in your answer. If you could be sequestered with anyone during the next four weeks, who would it be? And don't answer your family and no, don't answer Jesus because he's already there. But if you could be sequestered with anyone other than those individuals, who would it be? I'm looking forward to your reply. Who would it be? I'm Chuck Moore and... I'm just wondering.